What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today we are rolling out the red carpet for the 2024 Barbie Career of the Year. Women in Film. Which is perfect because we all just lived through the most amazing summer of Barbie. I bought this at Mattel Creations for $50. At $50, we're paying about $12.50 per doll. So we can probably expect these to be similar to a Barbie fashionista. On the back of the box, we can see all of the dolls with their careers and a brief description underneath. Here is the movie star who performs and plays different characters, a cinematographer who uses a camera and gets to be creative, a director who tells stories and works with others, and the studio executive who makes movies and is a creative problem solver. In addition to the dolls, it looks like we're getting a few accessories as well. Let's get these dolls out of the box for a closer look. Here's the studio executive. This doll has brown hair, brown eyes, with a shiny, slightly pixelated screening. This is a petite Barbie, standing on an incline, wearing black strappy heels. She has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. One arm is straight and one arm is bent. She comes wearing a black jacket. The fabric has a little texture. The lapels stick out and there are two darts in the front. She wears a white tank top that looks very similar to the ones from Creatable World and a short black faux leather skirt. She also comes with a pair of gold sunglasses. Mine are dented in the middle from the rubber band in the packaging. And she has a white Barbie cell phone with a hand bracket on the back. Here's the outfit on a classic Barbie. These could be seen as nice basic additions to a doll's wardrobe. And even the jacket is pretty decent. I'm just going to stitch down the lapels to make them lay flatter. I think this is another piece we could add to our wardrobe and mix and match with different items like maybe a pair of black Barbie pants, or even this fitted Barbie basic dress underneath. Here's the director with soft curly hair pulled up into a puff with brown eyes and orange lipstick. She wears a gold colored headset, a faux denim jumpsuit with printed details. She comes with an accessory around her neck and red sneakers. The printed details on the jumpsuit go all the way around and it velcros in the back. This doll has the classic body type with one bent arm. So it's an easy fit on a similar made to move body. There is also a rectangle of paperboard that says script and it is blank on the other side. Here it is with the doll for a little size comparison. The cinematographer is a tall Barbie with long blonde hair pulled back into a ponytail, blue shiny eyes, wearing a lavender t-shirt that says Chase Dreams. It has turquoise stitching around the edge and is paired with high-waisted animal print black pants. The top and pants are two separate pieces and they Velcro in the back. The pants are long and go all the way to the doll's ankle. And she wears a pair of white shoes. This doll also has one bent arm and comes with a camera. I think the arm is still positioned a little far out to have it actually rest on her shoulder. And we get a small clapboard. It's plastic and says dream house. I'm going to use the equipment with a doll with a little more articulation, like this BMR 1959 doll. Oh yeah, that totally works. And last but certainly not least, here is the star of this set, the movie star. This is a curvy Barbie wearing a pink sparkly gown. The dress appears strapless but has clear straps to help hold it up. It's a long dress with a split on the side. The fabric overlaps like a wrap. There's a gather going to the hip and a long drape of material on the side. The fabric continues all the way around and this dress velcros in the back. Her face looks the same as this Barbie fashionista. However, like the other dolls in this set, she is also pixelated and shiny. 
She comes with silver colored accessories like a necklace, bracelet, and heels. And she also has a small Barbie shaped award. It's gold colored and will look great in the dollhouse. I kind of wish these dolls were sold separately. I would have happily paid $12.50 for this doll with this dress. And now that I see this sculpt on a curvy, I kind of love it. I think we might be able to get the best of both worlds. Yeah, not too bad. It's not a perfect match, but it is pretty close. And now our movie star can walk the red carpet and pose for the camera. What if we want to create our own looks with stuff we already have? Starting with the studio executive, let's go with a black Creatable World shirt, black Barbie pants, a BMR 1959 jacket, a black Barbie belt, I painted the buckle silver, add a cell phone, a purse from Mini Brands Fashion, and a pair of sunglasses to finish her inspired look. For the director, we can go with this pink jumpsuit. It came with a petite Barbie, but it can fit a classic. Or we can just play into Barbie the movie and go with this pink jumpsuit. I grabbed a Barbie headset. I think it was from the video game programmer. I could be wrong. And I have one of our printable scripts that are available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. It has a few pages and words. So our little inspired director is totally ready to start filming. For the cinematographer, let's go with this faux denim-like shirt. I want to say it's from a Ken doll, but I don't remember. Then let's use green Nat Geo pants. Let's put a cell phone on her waist just in case she needs to film a short or two. Let's add a black Barbie camera around her neck. She might have to shoot a thumbnail. And we have the same camera from like a Barbie news reporter set. And let's give her some headphones so she can check sound quality. And our cinematographer is ready to do it all. For the movie star, we can take a lot of artistic liberties and rock those vintage Barbie looks like we've seen with Margot Robbie on the red carpet. But I kind of want something that will fit my curvy Barbie, is really fast to make and doesn't take a lot of sewing. Maybe we can make something quick with a scrunchie. I bought this at Five Below a while ago. It's a scrunchie with a piece of fabric tied to it. Let's undo the knot and we end up with a square of fabric. It's a crimped fabric, it has a little stretch and it's a soft pink color. The knot did leave a few indents, but I think we can still use it. I take the corner of the fabric and place it over the doll's chest. Pull the rest of the fabric around the doll, bringing the edge to the hip and meeting the fabric in the front. Now we're just going to position the fabric until we get something that looks kind of like a dress. I'm pulling the fabric in the front and making a few small pleats. Use a needle and thread to make a small stitch at the hip to make a super fast dress. I did have to leave a little bit of room in the dress just to make sure I can get it off and on. Otherwise, you're gonna have to add Velcro to the back. But for like a two minute dress, not too bad. Thank you for joining us while we checked out the Barbie 2024 Career of the Year doll set. Like, Comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.